everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. I hope that everybody is having a good weekend. I hope that uh, you're enjoying family, doing whatever it is you're doing. If you're working, I hope that you're having a productive day. Uh, if not, if you do what I do, I just left the gym on a journey and a con conquest uh, to accomplish personal health goals. I'm excited about that. Uh, to be refocused on my health, uh, something that uh, is immensely important for a number of different reasons. Of course, this guy would pull up with all this crap on him. Uh, but anyway, I'm sitting here and I'm moving, and there's so much that I try to uh, share and talk about with you guys. And this is on my mind. It's been on my mind for a couple of days, and so I decided that uh, I will kind of just, while well, I'm on my way to pick up one of my older sons uh, to do something uh, with him. And I decided this is a time to kind of just share what I share, get it off my chest, and hopefully it helps someone else on their journey. Um, one of the things that you probably saw me share, heard me say, um, over the years because it's not something new for me. It's something I've lived by since I was a kid, actually. Uh, it is what has allowed me to be able to transcend many barriers that are there for so many other people who come from where I come from. And that is, I don't give credence to other people's opinions about me. It doesn't mean that I'm not open for uh, constructive criticism, uh, that's how I grow. I mean that somebody insisting that I'm something that I'm not or insisting that I'm less than I am has absolutely no bearing on how I see myself. It also, I'm also not uh, engrossed in proving myself to other people. My, my great-grandmother who reared me taught me a lesson at the age of nine years old. I was in the fourth grade. And she taught me a lesson that has stuck with me. And that lesson is this. I was trying to get her to tell me how uh, to convince all my classmates that this rumor that was going around about me wasn't true. And you can imagine in the fourth grade what the rumor was. I don't even remember anymore. But they were saying it about me. And, you know, at, at, four, at nine years old, everything's a crisis. You know, so, but what it was, I came home and I said, Tell, how do you stop them from lying? How do you convince them of the truth? Uh, and there were so many questions I had. How do I convince them that I, and she summed it up real succinctly and powerfully. Uh, and she said, first and foremost, stop trying to convince people who you are and let the life that you live speak for you. And I'm like, huh? And she said, people are going to believe what they want to about you. You can show a person each and every day who you are, and they still will believe what they want to believe about you. And it's not your responsibility to convince them otherwise. Let the life you live speak for who you are. Let the accumulative actions you take and decisions you make over the course of your life write your legacy. Don't worry about what people are going to say because people are going to develop an opinion on you, sometimes based on something someone else said, sometimes based off of their own experiences, an erroneous way of, uh, fallacious way of looking at life, and sometimes based on half of the story. Sometimes they're just going to insist that they know who you are, and there's absolutely nothing that you can do to change that. That's not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to live your life to the fullest. Your responsibility is to challenge yourself, not to compete with anyone else, not to match someone else's expectations, but to live your life at the highest level possible, striving to be better each and every day. That's your responsibility to yourself and to the most high. It is your responsibility to answer the bell of your purpose, not to convince people of who you are. There will be some who will recognize you. There will be some who will acknowledge your greatness and be okay with that, but don't live off of other people's praise. Understand that you have to be aware of who you are. I tell people all the time, what makes me good at what I do 
in the fields that I'm in is that I'm not uh, I'm not seeking the uh, approbation, approval, and acceptance of anyone. Uh, while I love when someone shares my post, I don't li I don't live by it. I don't get off on it. When I do, although I'm appreciative when someone pats me on the back, whether it's literally or by expression on some some platform on social media, I am not fueled by it. I'm fueled by my purpose. I'm fueled by the reason I'm here. Why am I saying this? Because if you start living based on the assessments of other people, you will find yourself constantly in this capricious state of joy, frustration, pain that is unnecessary. People will fluctuate in how they see you based on what's going on with them. You can't let someone define you. I believe it was Les Brown that said his uh, one of his high school teachers and mentors told him, do not let someone else's opinion of you define you. Or you don't have to allow someone else's opinion of you to become your reality. What am I getting at here? Sometimes we can become so consumed because we live in a world of acceptance. We live in a world where we are validated when someone accepts us or tells us we are who we think we are. You need a relationship with the most high that is so fluent, that is so consistent, that is so strong that you don't need anyone else to validate you. You don't need confirmation outside of your relationship with the most high. You need to be sure of who you are because people are fickle with how they see you, with how they handle you, and you are going to have to understand and learn in yourself just how powerful you are based on how you live your life and what you're doing. And understand, give, you give yourself permission to be in process. What, the, what does that mean? That means that you're not perfect, that every decision won't be the right decision, that sometimes you will fall short. Fail forward. Learn how to fail forward. Learn how to set your goals so high that it's hard to reach them, but just by striving from them, when you stumble, you fall forward. And in the falling forward, you gain ground that you would not have gained if you wouldn't have stretched yourself. That's how you grow. That's how you de de develop the capacity you have and nurture the capacity you have for greatness. Stop allowing other people to set the tone of your life. Stop allowing other people to set the, 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 the environment and atmosphere by which you live every day. Determine who you are and walk in it and start to manage the people in your circle. The people in your circle aren't meant to create discomfort. Now, I, I mean that in this way. Yes, they are to challenge you. Yes, they are to push you out of your comfort zone. But you shouldn't feel down every time you're around someone. You shouldn't feel like they're going to say something that's going to attack your spirit, so affect uh, your spirit, so to speak. Those are the people you don't need. Those are the people that no matter how they present themselves cannot be a positive influence. Now, sometimes they will have evil intent. Other times they're just simply broken and they can't do anything other than what they know. Either way, you need to learn how to manage your circle. Be very aware of what's in your periphery. On that note, look, I'm gonna get out of here, uh, get to what I gotta get to, but I had to share that with you. Uh, hopefully, it touched something, hopefully it lifted something. As I always say, I live my life every day on full. That way when it's time for me to leave this place, I leave it on E. I'm going to die on E. I'm not going to leave anything undone. I'm not going to leave anything to, to regret not doing. I'm not going to look back and say, if I would have only tried harder. I'm giving it everything I've got. And I'm going to let the chips fall where they may. I'm going to challenge you to do the same thing. Live life on full and die on me. On that note, I'm going to get off of here. You guys have an unbelievable day, and we will talk soon. I'm out.